Welcome to the cat reading. So this is a pick a pile reading. So have you got a cat? And even if you haven't got a cat, this will have similarities to your life right now. So if you want to pick cat, even if you've got more than one cat, if you just focus on one cat, perhaps. Anyway, it's entirely up to you. So we have sleeping cat. And these are the cards we're going to read between them and you and an oracle card, guru card. So you can choose sleeping, this bone, climbing, these cards. Doesn't necessarily mean that this is a personality of your cat. It's just what you're drawn to today. Sleeping, climbing, hiding and ruling cat. So... If you pick which pile you'd like, one, two, three or four, pause the video and then lay out the cards for you and we'll see what's going on with your cat. The cat relationship between you and your cat. So pile one, pile two, three and four. Hi, welcome back to pile one. And if you chose the sleeping cat, then this is interesting. It doesn't necessarily mean that your cat's sleeping, but it's got a good affinity with nature at the moment, and it is quite wise in its thought patterns. It's laying on the um, head of a guy who's like an elk, and it's in between. So these spikes are guarding it and keeping it safe in its wisdom. So it is a very old, wise cat that you've actually chosen today. So let's see the aspects of the personality of your cat today. So first off, we have the seven of fire, seven of fire. So your cat, if it ever did get into a squander with certain other cats, it knows that it's the boss and cats around have to really bow to your cat because it is very wise and it knows what's going on so your cat is demonstrating that i am in charge and i will be in charge and just because i seem soft sometimes doesn't mean to say i'm not going to fight back so this is the personality of your cat at the moment in what it's demanding of other cats so what else? So the consequences of, <laughs> of some of the actions of your cat may baffle your cat at times. So he'll get himself into situations where he just doesn't quite understand. So he might sleep in one place and then if it's moved or, or something else is put in its place, it'll go, what's that about? That's really confusing. So there are aspects where you still will get a little bit confused at times, but sometimes this is his own doing and he needs to understand that, yeah, what you do does have an effect. So hiding your toy or hiding your treats may be not the best thing that you can do. So your cat is also demonstrating a ten of fire. So it might have got some new plans and ideas in his head. Oh, I think I'll do this, I think I'll do this today. And then it just seems too much. So off he pops and goes back to sleep. <laughs> so if, if he's quite sociable today with a lot of aspects around, it again might be too much for him and he'll just go, I'm just gonna have a sleep. And where was that toy? Where did I hide that? I just don't know. We'll see what relationship he thinks of you in a minute. So your cat is also demonstrating the sky kitten. With the sky kitten, he'll go after things that are floating by and have a great laugh. So he'll get in touch with his kitten behaviour. And even though he's lived quite many lifetimes and seems quite wise, he knows how to play and how to have fun. So he may dream a lot about clouds and fantasies and all what's going on, 
but his ideas are quite new and that's why he can get into quite a lot of trouble um, with too much to do and also if other people are trying to interfere in his plan then hmm watch out he may just think that though he might just be too busy sleeping right uh -huh. so we have the fire queen here so your cat oh look at that so your cat is quite ruling in the way that he wants to go and show the feminine side of his cat to allow things to happen on a greater volume so he feels very proud to be himself and he knows even though he, he might be battle scarred from all the wounds and all the rest of it he knows that to have the fire in your belly and that excitement of a kitten and just moving forward is really applicable so the fire queen here will uh, demonstrate psychic abilities as well just like being a cat so all in all there is a lot of energy going on with your cat and that and how your cat sees yourself is like this so you're the three of swords at the moment so he knows that when he's in a situation of, of trying to um, be in control he knows this is quite painful to you not with the relationship with your cat and yourself but he sometimes sees you as very wounded and i think that's why he's got this protective side he'll know how to stand up for himself and he wonders why you can't do the same so releasing the um hurt from yourself um he might give you extra hugs or just send those psychic thoughts to you to say to yourself heal we as cats are healers and it's saying to you that you might need to heal yourself so your cat sees you as a queen of cups so when you're the queen of cups he sees you as being very still in your emotions when you want to be because your cat knows that the consequences here of asking for more love will always be granted so he sees this as water and with this picture here with the teapot and the steam it's like going into the ether so your cat thinks if you sleep and fantasize and connect with your um, dream world then all your dreams will come true so quite honestly your cat doesn't really understand the consequences as much as it could do so the consequences is well why can't you just do this because i do and your life will be perfect so your <laughs> if your cat does get in a muddle reflect back to yourself because your cat believes that you have everything within your power and just try not um both of you the two of you it's like hold on to that pain just let it go be in charge so the ten of fire is how your cat sees you it's a bit of a indecision making skill so your cat would see you as why don't you just demonstrate by talking just saying who you are to the people around you that you need to say who you are so uh, so your puss your cat it's like even though it's working very hard and trying to get things done in an orderly fashion he sees you quite um withdrawn at times and thinks that you should just make a decision and go for it but what your cat's really thinking is have a nap that's what happens with him so under the sky kitten you've got the eight of wands so your cat sees you sometimes being very busy a little bit stressed out at times and just wonders why everything's just moving so quickly sometimes so if you're rushing in and out of your home and your cat's going why are you doing that all the time um yeah so your cat says why don't you adopt a more playful side to yourself instead of being overly responsible for everybody else kind of thing your thoughts your feelings etc 
so what else is going on uh, so your cat um, is very in tune with the sun he's the uh, fire queen and you're the sun so together there's a lot of energy and love there and the bond between the two of you is going to be strong for, for many lifetimes so your cat being the fire queen just has all the energy knows when to rest but knows when to activate what needs to be done so your cat says to you go forth and be simple in your heart because at the moment when the heart is breaking and you need to make a decision about certain things then just connect into your dreams in in a nice relaxed manner so what else do we ask the sleeping cat well the guru card says hank for senate sometimes in relationships you have to play politics rise above your litter stay true to your values and you will nap soundly <laughs> so this is what hank says so all in all it's like when you rule here you're in charge of all the people that are going to disagree with you and, and yourself even about making this decision the consequences of too much action and oppression and need to delegate is a time to have more fun so this is what your cat in one of its lifetimes has been like a very up in the air kind of kitten but now just like the senate here they can rule themselves and the sun is bringing all that um, happiness and warmth so if you can both learn from each other in that respect that's really good so uh, so i hope that's been of some use and your cat is very energetic and very playful at times but knows it can rule when it wants to and if he wants to sleep from all these um little playtime then that's really good but i hope you know you can be like this cat the queen of cups and just dream bigger you know heal your heart make the decision of what needs to go on and then just sleep on it basically but with happiness in your heart will do really really well so thank you very much pile one and do do let me know in the comments what your cat's name is and how how that's related to one of your cats all right lots of love to you all take care hi pile two how are you doing so if you've picked climbing cat and this bone here you've whoops sorry about that um right okay <laughs> so if you pick the climbing cat doesn't necessarily mean that your cat is climbing but it is your cat is looking things at a higher viewpoint it's very wise it's very perceptive and very focused in the things that it really really wants to focus on so here i'm going to use a bone now <laughs> so here with the three of earth this is how your cat is it's able to work with yourself and with others to determine what it does want so this uh, beetle is from the heritage of the cat in egyptian times and your cat knows the value of teamwork the value of working with you and cooperating with its environment in a very timely manner so to climb trees and be in the um, higher self and also for yourself to connect to your higher self is quite interesting now the tree has a lot of wisdom and the cat knows this and the cat also knows it, it is supported within that so the cooperation between the two aspects of working and climbing is really essential so one of your cats here is the sea queen so this works for both sexes um, because we have both yin and yang in us now the sea queen here is very clever so your cat will know the heritage of emotions it'll also know that to live by the sea is very cleansing 
and adopting the water element will give her clarity and insight. So in her past lifetimes, she has been very insightful and that's perhaps why she's still like your cat, still likes to climb in a higher way, even if it's up the curtains or even if your cat is very observant looking out the window. So this cat knows that the fountain of youth and the fountain of possibilities is always there. You'll note the cat mermaid, the cat maid, <laughs> the cat mermaid is giving and this is all about the sea queen as well. So your cat would purr quite significantly and the love that your cat will give you will be enormous. So she's trying to teach you that if you can observe these things and really crown your glory and really see the pearl of the truth now within that, then things are going to happen on a greater scale and your own insights are going to come a lot easier. So your cat would be very much the three of fire. This particular cat is really, sorry, does that come off? No. <laughs> um, that's strange, isn't it? She's already been burnt. So the three of fire is this particular cat looking into the fire, looking into the light. So her curiosity is going to um, really ignite what needs to be done. Your cat will not mind it, the consequences of the fire getting burnt or just understanding what the light is. Your cat is tapping into an intelligence and trying to um, teach you about that, about information, understanding and aspiration, inspiration. So it's like, even though she knows the limitations, it's like she can find a way out of those limitations. She's ready to expand in her new world. So she adopts a kind of newness like a kitten, but she's not a kitten. They're not a kitten. They just go to higher places for a higher learning. What else? Uh -huh. So with the six of C here, your cat is remembering what it was like to play as a kitten. Because these cats like water in this particular card doesn't necessarily mean your cat likes water. But you can see in the uh, picture in the background that there's a white tiger. So, so dreaming big is essential now, but also playing and learning what it is to be together, a togetherness. So it's almost like um, your cat could teach you, oh, go on, do this. And you could say to your cat, oh, go on, do this. So there is a kind of cooperation with you wanting to play or them wanting to play and you kind of agreeing. So there's that sense that when you work together as a team, then your emotional stability is both going to be on par and you can grow quite a lot um, working as a team within your emotional state for both of you. So that's quite nice. What else is your cat? So Sky Tom, mm, very serious. <laughs> so, so because your cat likes climbing, perhaps, your cat may demonstrate an, a real um, fierceness. So in some of your cat's lifetime, or maybe even now, your cat was such a good hunter, especially of birds. It seems to be that this cat just likes the chase, likes to go after the inspiration of the chase. So it's quite um, interesting that the thought process that the cat goes through is just doing its nature, but it does like the you know, just going high into the air. It's like the breath of air. So maybe your cat is trying to tell you to go forward and speak your mind when you need to. Sometimes being assertive in communication is vital. So this is how the cat does. So it's basically saying to, to the creatures of the sky, 
what are you doing in my space? Don't come near me. <laughs> so that's interesting. So how your cat sees yourself? Oh, how cute is that? <laughs> so, oh, we've got the little kitten of the two of wands. So your cat sees you as being very playful, very beautiful. Oh, look how beautiful. So your cat knows that your emotions can be very stable and precise. So it's this kitten likes to chase after two toys being wafted high in the air. And it's a really good aspect. But how your cat sees you is, are you going from a higher place to know what you do want? Because what your cat thinks of yourself is, why aren't you going higher? When you go, um, when your feet are on the ground and you're grounded, yeah, you can work together as a team and in cooperation. But sometimes when there are more decisions and more opportunities, it's the different levels. So your cat would always think, why aren't you climbing a tree to see all the opportunities? So the opportunities around you at the moment are quite vast. So being very kitten-like and innocent in looking at those opportunities perhaps would serve you a lot better, perhaps. So we've got the eight of fish here. So with the eight of fish, um, there is quite a lot on your plate, literally. <laughs> so, and where does it come from? The sea. So the sea queen, your cat, has given you your wishes, your dreams. But sometimes it's like, is that too much? Do you really need to walk away? Or it's like a reward. You've got your reward. You've dreamt big. So your cat has psychically told you that you can dream bigger and get what you want. So if you want that reward, go for it, you know, have all that fish. But are you going to be ill at the end of eating all that fish? Hmm. And are you going to share it with your cat? These are the questions that you might want to ask yourself. But it is a reward and you can see that there's a lot of healing aspect in this. So bet between the two of you, if you allow that fountain of life, the fountain of youth to nurture you and give you the emotions that you need you can get get whatever you want but maybe it might be too much but maybe it might not be so what's your cat saying to you now so here you have the ten of treats always good to have more treats even especially when the dream is so your cat knows how loving you are and is very grateful that you two are together, very grateful, very happy with you, um, knows that the opportunities are there and you're always going to protect the cat and the cat is protecting you on a psychic level. So this is a good aspect. So between the two of you, the love, the transformation and the new opportunities can grow and grow and grow even more, especially if you work as a team, especially if you know what you desire, even more can happen. So your cat sees you um, as a kitten here playing in the water. It sees you as, hmm, why aren't you playing? Why aren't you getting involved in life? Why are you sad a little bit? I've eaten my three bowls and I've still got two bowls. What's wrong with you? So your cat can consume things that upset them and wonders why you can't do the same. So your cat thinks, J just just get on with it. It's like, you know, what, you know, there's more food here. And why, why are you depressed? Think like a cat, think like you used to, in a happy way. But sometimes you have to have the realism that, you know, we do have to grow up from our emotions. So the emotionally growing up from a kitten to an adult needs to be there. One working as a team, one, one developing to achieve what you want. This, your cat knows when it's focused on what it needs to go after, it will go after it. So he sees you as why are you being, you know, down on yourself when you've still got treats in your bowl? Don't understand that one bit. But then he's a cat. So, 
So here we are, the nine of balls of wool. So, so he's picked out one ball of wool and, and all the others are quite piled up. So he sees you as, as um, probably from this card, as being slightly busy, slightly wounded, um, needs to untangle certain aspects of your life. So again, he's telling you, why don't you look from a different perspective, focus what you want, put your heart down and just move forward. And um, one has to pick, like for instance, he's picked the, well, he thinks you could pick the smallest ball of the whole pack. So the challenges of bigger balls or smaller balls can be interesting. So this is tied in with this particular card. So he'll probably think if there's an everlasting and eternal opportunities and desires and wants, why are you picking something small when you can pick something big? Notice this big one's green, the healing, Pick that one, focus on what you want, and then it says, go for it. So what's the guru cat saying to you today? So the hairless kitty. Beauty is in the eye of the breeder. Some cats are born bald, some achieve it. Others have baldness thrust upon them. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. So this oracle card is accept yourself. When you've had the disappointment of emotions, it's like you are beautiful in yourself. Just because you've been hurt in your past and trying to move forward with certain issues, then that's okay. The hairless kitty is saying, I'm still beautiful the way I am and I'm still a cat. So either lump it or wank it, you say. So your cat seems very intelligent and very concerned about certain things, but knows its own person, very focused in what he wants. So that's really good. So I wish you a lot of success. There's a great bond here with the love and very grateful that he's there. So I hope you learn that moving forward, especially with your emotions, is good. Just accept that you can. And just because people have told you in the past you can't, um, your cat is telling you you can. So I hope that um, really helps. Lots of love and thank you for watching. Oh, in the comments, please mention your cat. Thank you very much. Hi, pile three. If you pick hiding and the bone, then welcome to your pile. So you may or may not have um, a cat that likes to hide. All the aspects of cats um, are within themselves and cats have lived for many lifetimes. But cats particularly love boxes, don't they? Like jumping in and hiding. So in this card, there is a, a sense of hiding away or sometimes cats hide in boxes to pounce on you. They like to hide and pounce. So what's going on with your particular cat today? So with the two of fire here, your cat will probably have the energy to just sit and watch and observe. What's going on outside? What's going on inside? Hmm, do I go outside or do I stay inside? These are the decisions a cat needs to make. Sometimes your cat um, is very thoughtful and it's almost like he's trying to communicate to everything around. I think your cat is so connected that it thinks I don't have to go outside because people should know my greatness in itself. So this is like a doorway into an opportunity, the doorway of what is outside. And you can see that the, um, the steps here or ground is exactly the same on the outside so it's almost like a reflection of what's outside is inside and vice versa so you'll probably be seeing that your cat tries to reflect to you a lot of stuff so we'll see in these cards down here what that is now then aha uh -huh. so you have the priestess so your cat whether it's a male or a female 
is very wise and very in tune with the cat consciousness. So the cat consciousness is a form of healing everything around her. She's in this um, amethyst cave and the thoughts of sleepiness, dreaminess and to connect almost like those spiritual red Indians, uh, Native American. Native American Indians that do their sweat lodges and their spiritual quests. The cat has that dreaminess to your cat to connect with a peaceful spiritual aspect. So your cat could be reflecting to you that when you go to your um, higher self, your and, and it's saying you do have to have your own peace, your own space and stillness to do so. Because in order to do so, the vastness of the possibilities of many lifetimes, your cat says, is your sole purpose. So your cat takes this um, stance in saying that connect to your higher self will bring about a lot better peace and harmony and understanding. Also, I think your cat would say connect to the colour purple if you have any amethyst or any um, lavender oils then that would be now the time to sort of really accept that also your cat might really enjoy catnip um because they've got purple flowers so anything like that if you do have a garden then maybe next year invest in something like that or in spring so we have the floating cat. So the floating cat looks at things from a different way. So the vibration of your cat is very high. Your cat likes to um, get into the most weirdest sleeping positions perhaps possible. There is an aspect that it is a morning person more than an evening person. But yeah, it's very expansion in its mindset. It, he also likes to teach you to look at things in a different light. So the understanding between the two of you is going to be quite significant. So this is perhaps why your cat likes to hide in weird positions. And your cat probably gets lost quite a bit as well, which doesn't need to be concerned with but it tends to do that so your cat the death card well your cat has obviously lived many lifetimes and cats do live more than one lifetime your cat um, is actually lying on lavender now but your spirit of your cat is going to be eternal so some of you watching may have lost a cat I know I have I have three cats, so I'm okay. <laughs> but when we do lose a cat, it's the most painful thing. It's really, really sad. But your cat knows that it comes into your life and comes into everybody's life for a reason and a purpose. And that's being gentle and kind. And because your cat has connected to a higher aspect, it knows it's going to the cat consciousness and the cat heaven and it's always going to be eternal so just because his body dies and goes to sleep then the spirit of him remains it remains in all cats because we're all connected and that's what he's trying to say to you so yeah so not that he's going to die anytime soon but that is the aspect that cats cats know they live forever and forever they do live so that's just a message from your cat so what's going on the world well that's beginning and end almost so your cat, cat is still looking and observing but your cat knows that it's got this element of peace harmony and it's achieved what it needs to achieve in this lifetime so the reflection is now like a star like a bright light shining and all the other opportunities your cat's grown from observing of being inside more than outside of itself 
So the wisdom of that higher self is really truly there. So there's a healing aspect and foreverness that your cat is there. So that's really good. So how does your cat see you? Mm. Ace of Swords. So with the Ace of Swords, it's not very happy when um, that clipper comes out <laughs> to take off his um, claws. But that's one of the things that has to happen with some cats. They can do that themselves or it gets done to them. So there's always a, a quandary about should I or shouldn't I. So your cat actually sees that making decisions here it is hard sometimes, but making the decision one has to do. So some things have to just be in place and they have to be decisive. So your cat's probably saying when you need to make a de decision, just be precise. Um, so what else? So you have the two of bowls. So, so you've got this harmony between the two of you and it is on a connection um, with your higher self, but the emotional connection perhaps between the two of you, is so strong. Also, your cat is telling you that to share love is the most important aspect. And yes, you are very spiritual as a cat person, otherwise you wouldn't have a cat in your life, <laughs> but the expansion and growth of your desires and emotions are really good. So what your cat's trying to say, don't shy away from true love, connect to a human as well as a cat and all will be absolutely fine especially when cat has gone so that's what your cat really wants you to do connect to a love aspect deeper than ever before so we have um seven of treats here the seven of treats um is all about finding the patience to nourish yourself now this cat um, is playing with its treat ball to get the treats out but sometimes one gets stuck so this is a form of frustration but because your cat can work out these problems it's saying to you work out what information you need to make decisions in your life to further grow and harmonize your life the ball is purple and the background is purple so again, your cat is perhaps telling you, connect to your higher self, to your inner decisions and have patience. Patience, but listen, listen to your inner voice and your higher self giving you the information, giving you the reward of waiting is significant now. So how does your cat see you? The magician. Wow. <laughs> so when your cat is, is in that mode, your cat sees you perhaps as just being the master of cleverness in, wow, my owner, my human or whatever your cat thinks has produced X, Y and Z, bowls of water, all the treats and all the magic that can, can you muster. But there's also that creativity. Life and death is about creativity and it is an eternal um, cycle. So when you start on the magician, reaching up to your higher self again, sleeping higher, waking your consciousness is all higher. Your cat is really trying to get the message across that what happens above our thoughts, emotions and, and our physical body is huge. So your cat really needs to get the message across that even when things die down in life, whatever that may be, reaching higher to create what you do want is vitally important. There's always a yin-yang about the situation and there is always an opportunity to create more of what you need and what the cat needs. Aha, ah, isn't that nice? The lovers. So you have the lovers as a cat, you and the cat. So when the cat has um, reached the worldly godliness, it's the end of the tarot deck. The world is the end, not the end end, but your spiritual journey. This is about love, 
Normally this is a choice card, but for you and your cats, there's that gorgeous love. The, the sun is shining, the heat is in your body, the energy is in your body, and that's eternal. So eternally, you are always going to be together. So even if you're not physically together, you are spiritually together because you've both chosen this aspect of love. So that is absolutely fantastic. So if people have got chosen this and have had a cat pass away, be assured that the um, choice that you both made to live a life, no matter how brief, no matter how long, is always going to be there forever. So, the cat guru is Tama, the station master. This has a good connotation, doesn't it, about trains coming and going and whatnot. So, what does the cat say? Make friends while you work. Start every journey with optimism and look for the light at the end of the tunnel. It might be a mouse with a torch. So, this cat is teaching you that time sometimes is of an essence. Time can be an illusion. So if you have had a cat pass over, then, you know, the start of a life, the end of a life, it's all the same kind of thing. The opportunities that come and go are also there. So when you start with one opportunity to make a decision about an opportunity, to finish, oh, sorry, to finish the decision, then reaching and making your own life, but having patience to do so, and know that true love is there. You've loved a cat, perhaps, and now you can choose that on many, many levels. Also, for people who have had cats that have gone, I have, as I've said, then the opportunity for another cat to come in your life, because you've been such a great cat person, is there. So what decision do you have to make about having another cat come into your life? Easy decision. Easy. <laughs> Right, so lots of love to you. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Take care. Hi, welcome to Pile 4. If you pick the Siamese cat with the ruling and the bone, then here's the reading. So the ruling cat <clears throat> doesn't necessarily mean you've got a Siamese, either male or a female. It just means that you've picked this personality today. So for the ruling cats, they're very grounded. They're very, perhaps, a little bit too sexual, perhaps. <laughs> but they know who they are and they rule with the iron fist, iron paw. So they're in charge, very much so. So let's see what else. So your cat, perhaps, is demonstrating the nine of earth. The nine of earth cat has found a haven to rest and nap but is always on the lookout because it likes his people and his animal friends and all things that are in his life to conform to his ways because he is ruling so it's a peaceful garden that they want to rest in and it is a great time to be a cat to be in that lush garden because he knows he's deserved it. So that's how he is today and that's how he wants to be. Also, your cat is the fire tom. So he, because he is ruling, he probably knows that in order to get where you need to get to, you have to take risks. And this is why he is a leader of his kind. In all his lifetimes, perhaps he's learned that you have to take a risk. And this is what being a fire tom is all about. The energy and the um, aspects that he can move through life, even in the face of danger, is a very good skill to have. And you might have admire him that, wow, how does he do this? Or, wow, that's just amazing that a cat can get himself in these situations. But he's learnt over many times to do this. And this is a good aspect for you to observe that when things are tricky in your life, then taking one step at a time 
and kind of have the ability to work things out because this is what being a leader is about. So he is a leader in his field and he enjoys the summertime. Let's see what else is going on. So Grace. Ah, oh, Simon's cut together. That's interesting. So the balance in his life, her life, needs to be of a precise way. Because the balance between different emotions are set in a healing way, but in a survival way. And this is why he is a leader. Because he knows that in order to survive, you have to have grace, you have to have balance, and you have to have the healing aspect. When the opportunity arises, he will lead himself to his goal and his ambition. He'll know it's there for him. He just has to do a logical way of moving forward. So he's very kind of Aryan. So he will take risks, but he'll know at the end he will be survive. So there's a healing aspect for him to continue along that way. What else? Nine of C. So your cat is very in tune with his dream world. He'll know exactly what he wants, when he wants. He knows when to play, when to nourish himself, but also what makes him happy. So the nine of C is, he knows he's a leader. He knows what he ha have achieved. But what else can he achieve? Well, he's a leader. So quite frankly, he thinks he doesn't need to do anything else except to be him, what his wonderful self. So this is why he can fantasize and dream even bigger than ever before. And this is why he's a leader, because his vision of himself and how he conducts his life is just on par with himself. <laughs> what else? The Empress. So your cat, if it's, if it's a guy, then he's just dreaming of the way his own mother looked after him. And if your cat's a girl, then she has a great maternal instinct. So the ruling aspect of the Empress is to protect, to nurture and give of herself. So the kitten knows this and it's saying, look, look at me. I belong here and I am wise. I am wise, nurturing and kind. And all these aspects that they, this kitten is learning from its mum is very important to take into the role. So that security as a child or a kitten has given him the ability to rule his world. So very confident and very nurtured. So this is a good aspect for the cat to have learned. That's why it probably believes that it doesn't need a 10. It's quite happy with the 9. Quite happy. No problem. So how does he see you? So he sees you as the page of pentacles. Another sign of this guy. So he sees you as the page of pentacles. So he believes while he's sleeping here in his big pentacle that the opportunities for you are vast. Things have been offered not only to him but to you as well. So taking this opportunity is putting more healing light on the situation even more. So when he's tired or she's tired, all she needs to do is look cute or ask you and then the rewards are given. So he knows that you're very kind and generous. So this is a good aspect. So the chariot. So your cat perhaps knows that the chariot is one of the most important aspects in the cat's life. Where to rest your posterior? Because your cat is ruling, he'll probably pick the best seat in the house or nudge you away from the bed or any other exciting things like that. There is an aspect where if he wants, he can transport his own vision in his mindset. So the chariot can take him to fantasized places, especially in his dream state. So he knows that dreaming and wrestling is really important. 
So sometimes he'll see while you're very busy um, and he's busy, we also need time for rest, him and you. But we're still on that journey of life to go forward and forward we must go with energy, he says. How else does he see you? <laughs> right, so there's a ton of um, claws here. He sees you sometimes just not having balance and grace at all. <laughs> so he sees you getting stuck on that door, the fly trap, the door screen. And so he sees you, maybe you're not focused in the direction that you need to go and sometimes make errors, but that's fine. He says, just climb out of the situation. Instead of going headfirst into the door, why not climb out of the window? So saying grace within your mindset and the ability to look at life in a whole different way, perhaps, um, in a healing way, in a goal-orientated way. So we have the um, eight of getting muddled up in toilet paper. <laughs> so sometimes when you're dreaming, and sometimes one has to go into themselves to see that their situation is perhaps of their own doing. So seeing a way out and seeing that some of this way of thinking is perhaps your own, he says to you, why don't you just dream, have a little cat nap and just relax? And then everything will be all right. Because you know what he says to you? There'll always be another toilet roll come. So even if he's destroyed that one, there'll be another one. And he thinks that's like your life. Just because something's over and gone with doesn't mean to say there's not going to be any more. There's always more, even with COVID-19. So here we are. He sees you as the Ace of Cups. So this is going very well with the Empress card. The Ace of Cups is a fountain of clean, clear water. Cats like running water, and this is about your emotions always running, always running with a youthful fountain of youth, but also clear, clear, precise and healthy, positive, loving thoughts. So he sees you as this. And so you're a good mix between the two of you. So the way he was nurtured or she was nurtured is the same thing as the water being drunk. It's still a nurturing aspect. So to nurture your emotions and not get tied up in thought patterns is moving on to fulfill yourself in your own dreams and desires. Right, let's see what the Oracle card says. So this is a beep chat. Beep chat is see the world, but always come to those you love. Follow your dreams, even if they take you beyond the cat flap. Everyone's your neighbour in the global village. And it's true. So your cat, even though he rules, he can actually um, go to places anywhere and rule any country and any situation. And that means that any lifetime your cat's going to um, pick up. He's progressed or she's progressed to allow all the nurturing skills, all the ruling skills, but can go wherever they want. Um, normally that's the sky. So the nine of C is like that. Quiet on. Yeah. But he's still learning perhaps. And you're both learning together that to move forward here and here is an essential way to get where you want to go. So um, please mention your cat's name in the comments down below. That would be fun or whatever. And, <laughs> and we'll do this again because it's quite a lot of fun, really. So thank you so much for listening to all of you for listening. If you've listened to several of them because you've got several cats, I've got three. Um, but yeah, so thank you so much. And do look after your cats. I know you will do. And you're great people because you've got a cat. So there you go. Lots of love to you all. Take care. See you again.